Good morning, everyone. It is New Year's Day, officially 2022. And I'm really starting off this year with a bang. I have COVID, so I spent my New Year's Eve in my bed. Once I didn't have extravagant plans anyway, but like I see all these people and they're like all dressed up and nice and like, and I'm just like in bed. Like I, I think I fell asleep before even 11 o'clock. Well, have COVID either like right now or like over the past week. I've had like a very, I'm very lucky with like how I'm feeling on with COVID right now. I know that some people are feeling it a lot worse, so I have to be grateful for that. But I've been sitting in my house for like four days, just like going mentally insane. And I've also done everything that I can possibly do like in my room. Like my room is clean. I like organized all my clothes. I like purged through all my clothes in my closet because I wanted to like start fresh and I like wanted to give away stuff. And so I already did that, and I, which I can't obviously can't bring anywhere until I'm out of quarantine. But I was like, I'm just gonna get in my car and drive because I'm so freaking bored and I've watched so much Grey's Anatomy and I've watched, I've seen every single show possibly out there that I like can't find anything new and exciting to watch. And I'm not infecting anyone by driving in my own car. So I'm just gonna go and dra drive to the beach and probably just sit there and like edit or just like watch the ocean because that's my only happy place just crazy right now and everyone's like going through it. I ran out of coffee before I went to Florida and I was planning on getting more when I got back because I get all my coffee grounds from Ashlons and then being the dumbass that I am not realizing that um closed for a whole week and they don't open till January 2nd. I couldn't get any when I got back and then I got COVID so then I really couldn't get any coffee. And I've had someone bring me Dunkin' the past two days. And it's just like, it's good, but like, I just love my Ashland coffee. They made like a whole list of things that I have to get done. And I just can't get anything done. It's like pissing me off so much because like, I just don't want to sit around anymore. And it's funny because like in like a month or two when like school starts and like, I'm like back in the groove of like, being like overworked from school and like I like the winter and like everything's just shit like I'm gonna be like oh I wish I could just lay in bed for a week and not do anything and now that I have the opportunity to do that I like can't think of anything worse in exciting news it's a new year and I'm really 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 trying to be more positive this year I think that New Year's resolutions are kind of stupid but at the same time good because like everyone makes them every year and then like after like two weeks like they go to, they go down the toilet that's why i feel like no like you can start a new year like a resolution at any time during the year like i always see the, these tiktoks where it's like don't wait till january to start a new like goal like just start like just start don't wait till like monday to start if it's wednesday just start because everyone's like i mean i do the same thing i'm like oh, on monday i'll start a die on Monday I'll start doing this and like you, it never happens then you're like oh I'll wait till next Monday I do have many goals for myself and I'm gonna try really hard to stick to them and to be more positive because I feel like sometimes I tend to have a like a very negative outlook on life and like I'm always like the like bottle like half empty instead of like bottle half full which is not always a good way to live which pro is probably never a good way to live like see the like more of the positives in different like situations even when they're crappy situations like i have covid but i guess the good thing out of it is that i have some extra time to do stuff like in my room that maybe i wouldn't have time to do like you know i get to watch some extra tv without feeling lazy because like i have to be in my room or little things trying to see like the good parts of it even when like it's maybe not the best situation it's important to hold yourself accountable because like as you get older no one else is going to hold you accountable like it has to be on you the only thing getting me through that this next week is like knowing that i am moving into my own apartment for like a little over a month well it's not really my apartment it's my grandparents like apartment slash condo but they're going to florida 
um, for like a little over a month and I'm staying at their place while they're gone. Oh, so that's happening next week. Thinking about that around this time next week, I will have my own place and I can do what I want when I want. And not like in like a disobedient or disrespectful way, but like I'm just so excited to have like my own space and like just do my like own thing. I always let people go and then they try and let me go and I'm like, can you just let me do a nice thing? Like. I already talked to my mom and I was like, listen, like after a month, month and a half of me living on my own and then I have to come back home and live under your roof and your rules, like we're gonna have to have a little bit of like leeway with each other because it's gonna be extremely hard to go from living on my own to living at home again. There's like people just like wa like watching me and like I don't understand why people are so intrigued by like me talking to a camera. Like get over yourself. I just want to show everyone my outfit. It's dun very Duncan inspired. I have this mask from Duncan, which is what I've been wearing around my house, and I have Duncan, and I have this like this juicy couture like jumpsuit. Not a jumpsuit. What is it like? Just a sweatsuit. And oh, it's not real, but I, and then I have these shoes that match the whole vibe. They're like the Ugg slippers things. And the whole vibe just matches. There's like these people next to me and they're like doing a full on like photo shoot of the ocean or they're like microscopes. I don't really know what they are. There's lots of good things to look forward to this year. And I think that keeping like track of those is really important. And I know that I'm gonna like start making a list of like all my goals and even if you don't meet them all i think that it's like good to just have them all written down to top it off i just want to say that my nails have lasted like a really freaking long time and i don't know how because the place that i go to like i mean i don't go to like a super like high-end place but like they usually last like three weeks these have been on for like almost a month and they're like still there also i just want to share my new like toy and obsession that i have i got an ipad for christmas but I also got a, a, a Apple Pencil for Christmas. And I just sit here and like, just fucking like, just play with it. Like, I don't even know what I'm doing half the time. But like, any chance that I can get to use my pencil, I use it. Like, the past three days that I've been home doing nothing, I've been playing Candy Crush like a freaking maniac. So I'll just sit here and just like, do like, with, like, with the pencil. Cause like, I could easily just use my fingers. But why would you do that when you can just like use the pencil it's so much more fun that way it also helped me once school starts to like take notes because i like to take notes electronically but like not with my finger because they always come out messy so i know this was like kind of just a talking video i see my therapist in two weeks so maybe that's why i just need to like talk about random shit. but i'm seeing her next week so i'm sure i'll have lots to talk about then but I'm going to sit here and stare at the ocean for a little bit, probably do some editing on my laptop, maybe watch some Netflix, drink my coffee, watch some TikTok. Just thanks for listening, if you are if you watched the whole thing or parts of it or whatever. I'm going to go watch the ocean like a little old woman that I am. And I hope you all had a wonderful new year. And I will talk to you soon. I love you. Bye.